All right, I'm in a place called Elysio Town. That is definitely not where. Is there a bouffant near the front? No, there was a girl by the front. Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> I mean, I'm probably uh, I'm probably the one in the wrong way, to be honest. You found the side area. Got your side hustle going on there. Buddy. I'm in an I'm in an area. I'm probably yeah, I'm probably lost. Oh. For once, I did something right. You're welcome, gamers. So, what's the what's the four one one? I should get some of these. I haven't actually gone these in a while. It might be good to just have these. I'm in a random fight. Okay. Oh. I, I don't know what the fuck this is. Trainer question mark question mark. Oh, you guys a Pidgeotto. That's good for you, man. Ah, oh, neat, man. He said something about not letting people out of doors, and I'm like, okay, sure. Cool. Sure, sure, dude. Oh, oh I think I see the not video. Learning yeah. fucking air move. Oh, he has a polygraph. Where, where'd you find this man? I, I honestly could not tell you. I, I, the house to the left oh. of the Pokemon Center. Oh, what's this? Not oh, there's. Oh, are you looking for a fight? Oh, you'll get it. Is this the man? Uh, this probably, is probably the man that you were really. talking about. This man looks like a fucking red knockoff. Can I be your rival from now on? <laughs> Please? Come on, let's go. Eh. What'd you go for? I have I have I just beat him. All the oh, like swept have you to just... my team. Oh. So he's asking, can I be I your said rival the top from one, now he's on? For a million. Eh. Sure. How good? Every good trainer must have a rival to match him. I'm Vermillion. He said the same thing to me. Alright, well. Did not cool. change. We did not pick a character voice. We are speed running tonight. I, I really. I don't think he'll be relevant. Maybe not. I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. They gave him a unique sprite thing, so I assumed he was, but. Um, it's oh, also, uh, uh, ah, you two, we seem to be meeting each other all over the world. God damn it. <laughs> Have you also come to see the see native what... cemetery? I can't unsee what I've seen. You must, um, you must imagine differently, Dev. This is just another person. Just a person. You know, it's the main tourist attraction of this town. I'm honestly not amused that the resting place of my ancestors has been transformed into a stupid fairground attraction. But I guess it's just the way that things happen. I'd still like to visit my that cemetery. Let's reserve a room. Come on. Take off your clothes. Wait, what? No, 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 no. How old are we? <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. Oh, no Sorry. way, am I gonna have no, to cut uh, out a section? You... Also, by the way, we fucked up, or more specifically, I fucked up. I originally voiced this character. Oh, yeah, I saw that in the video today, and then I was like, oh, well, we switched voices. Uh-oh. I think now I've been Valley Girl for so long. Uh, do you want to take her over again? <laughs> no, no, nah, that's fine. Are you two going to stay? Well, it looks like you got a nice little group together. A journalist recently came here who was interested in studying native culture. Not only that, a celebrity from Kanto arrived this morning with his grandson. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Vermillion is important. God damn it. Oh, oh my god. It's Red's grandson. I love meeting people, so all the better. They're upstairs resting. Go visit them if you want to, if you want, so you can get acquainted with each other. I'll go and have a look. You have to be sociable in life. Right. This is gonna suck. Aw, oh, god damn it. Yep, it's red. He has <laughs> a fucking cowboy hat! Yeehaw! And all that. Damn Whoa. it, we have, to, we have to give this fucker a voice now. <laughs> Fuck, we fucked up. He's gotta be like that spunky anime protagonist. Are you also staying here? Cool, we can be friends! That's the voice. <laughs> I think the four of us are going to make the same excursion to the native cemetery. Let's make a team! Yes! What fun it is to travel! 
Hey, you two, let me introduce you to my grandfather. This is a legendary trainer. Grandpa, tell them how you became the Kanto champion. Champion of Kanto? Wait, you're not the legendary red? God damn it. Dot, dot, dot. My grandfather is a person of a few words, but deep down he really is nice. Mm. The other day he brought me ice cream from Porch Alottos. Mm -hmm. It's his old Pikachu. It's his old Pikachu that's getting old. Don't touch his nose too much, or you'll get hit with a thunderbolt. Mm, yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. P. Did you do did her I voice? I think I. Did. What was her voice again? It was like she was kind of socialite, I think. Yeah. Did I hear red? Ed? Was that the cry of a Pikachu? The famous Ed is here. Oh, if it isn't red, we really have red at this hotel. I feel like she has to have like a news reporter voice now that I'm hearing it a little bit more. Please grant me an interview. I promise to be kind and treat you very gently. Excuse me? <laughs> Mr. Red, wait! They're moving at the speed Yo, he, of sound. Jesus fucking it, Christ. Jesus. Now that's what I... I call looking for the news. My grandfather is used to these things. What's he had to dress as a woman to go unnoticed? What the fuck? In principle, it is assumed that there are no dangerous Pokemon in the vicinity. Permelion? I think this was. A, I think he didn't translate this one, guys. Sorry to say, I think you missed one. And if we were in danger, I'll be there to save you. F me? Uh, good. Sorry, man. Not many people talk. Uh, how to do I go. put this for you? Uh, I think uh, it's mainly fuck. you. We're, gonna in, need it. we're in a big talky talk area. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of dialogue. What a beautiful place! Supposedly, the great matriarchs of the, and the great shamans of the past were buried here. Well, I don't see anyone buried here. Where are the bodies and the tombstones? Ah, death. They are in the urns. The natives of this area burned the dead. The truth is that it's cleaner that way. Oh, I see. That's where my grandpa's gonna go. Grandpa, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking call him pots. Let's keep going. I want to see more of the fascinating culture. What the fuck, hello, Red? What up, bud? What is that weird drawing on the wall? It's giving off a bad vibe. I think I've read this. It is a representation of the Great Spirit, the creator deity in which the natives believed. And even today, there are many people who still believe in him. Many festivals are held in his honor in the West. Wow, I didn't know that. According to the myth, the Great Spirit is responsible for bringing the Pokemon into this world. He said, oh sorry, it is also said that he was the one who taught humans to understand Pokemon and to be able to train them. The Great Spirit left a message for the humans before leaving for his resting place. Oh. Um, you humans, who, you who shiver in the cold of the night, you will never again be afraid. For now, you will have friends forever and you will take care of them while they take care of you. But the day will come when the world will be in grave danger, and you will have to cooperate to save it. On that day, you will demonstrate the power of your bond. Wow! I will never cease to be fascinated by the wealth of myths and knowledge you have here. Myths and legends you have. I can't read. Elders were so wicked to destroy all that cultural heritage. Yo, what age are we of... in? Red is old, but this place seems like we're in the... Like, 1700s. Yeah. yeah, I'm also sensing a lot of white guilt. There's a lot of white guilt going on here. 
Yeah. Well, don't blame yourself either. Neither you nor I were to were there to experience it. And getting back to the subject, I believe there is some truth in all this. That my ancestors contacted something out from outer space, which they called Great Spirit. Pokemon couldn't have come out of nowhere, could they? The theory of evolution has served to explain the appearance of plants, bacteria, humans, but not the appearance of Pokemon. And I'm not saying there's magic involved or anything like that. Oh, God. I'm sure everything has a rational explanation. But there are so many things we don't know yet. We don't need to know where Pokemon came from. God damn it. That's one of the uh, things. It just needs, doesn't need to be explained. It, they're just there, man. They're just there. That's cool. When I hear these stories, it makes me want to become a Pokemon professor. I guess that's his story arc. Ooh, that's going to be his story arc. He's oh. Gonna... oh. 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 Yeah. What the fuck? All right. Uh, you who have been able to hear the voice of the wind. This is the after effects of the drugs. We still drugging out, huh? What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, space Boom. again. Boom. Boom. Are we going back to the purple Boom. place? Boom. 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 Oh, oh, this time it's a snake. Snickersnoo? Oh, it's still um, the same guy, though. Same guy? Beyond the cosmos, beyond space, a cataclysm is coming. That will end all life. Oh, hey. Come. Oh, Come well, find. Just... You too. Oh, hey. Oh, everyone's gone. Hey, you two. Wait, were you there too? We we did that because uh, drugs. Fucking Dusclops. Huh? Fight. Ghost Pokemon. We have to get rid of them. All right. Well, yeah, we're doing it. Hey, what up, Dusclops? What up, boys? Well, I would have rather have like anything else up front. Oh, there's more. Yeah. I oh, Red's feel. here. Neat. Jesus Christ! Is he dealing with level 100 Pikachu, I'm assuming? Fucking God! You, you don't know what I just saw! There are too many, I can't Pika P! <laughs> oh, they're fucking dead, dude. I'm sorry, maybe you were sleeping, but I had to try my luck. We need to talk about what happened in the cemetery. You you have those visions too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you did. You had them in Sirocco Town, and you ha have them again now. I uh, I see it too. Ever since I was little, anyway. A strange a Pokemon drugged? and a and a very cold world with no life in it at all. That's what it's like when I'm off drugs. It fucking sucks. I'm going to ask you a question that's going to seem strange, but... Stay away from my no-no square. <laughs> this, is, this is my private place. I need my space woman. Is there anyone in your family who is wrong? What? <laughs> what the bad, fuck is that? Bad what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> Bad description. Your mother. <laughs> I see. What? How was I supposed to fucking answer that? Fucking <laughs> wrong. Get the fuck out of here. This cannot be a coincidence. Your mother is fucking crazy. My father is not well either. They had to lock him up. Jesus fucking Christ. Come on. I don't know if I like how this game oh. portrays the mentally ill handicapped the mentally ill and his delusions he spoke of a pokemon that announced the coming of the end of the world what if this is all some kind of hereditary disease that runs in our family's blood other people i'm 
quite a loner, if you couldn't guess. I think it's something I've carried with me since I had to leave my homeland when I was a little girl. Don't know if you heard that, little girl. It's as if I'm been surrounded by strangers my whole life. But now, it's different. It's the first time I've met someone who is going through a situation similar to mine. What if we are destined to search together for the meaning of this mystery? Don't let me down, you two. Only you can understand me. You get me. You're my gamer boy. Do you get it? You're my little pog champ. Stop. <laughs> you know. You will help me, right? My little pog champ. I hate this. Get yeah, me out. Sure. Mr. Red, please, before we say goodbye, will you be kind enough to make a poor bookie journalist happy? Please. Why don't you tell me about some hidden romance from your youth? Oh, Grandpa, you could tell him about that Sinnoh region champion. What the fuck? Oh, God. Who the fuck? Do you... Did you fuck Cynthia? Did you fuck Dawn? Answer me that, and I'll leave you alone, Mr. Red. But don't leave me lying here, Grandpa. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're gone. A35, baby. A level 40. Let's go. How do you have a guy who's level 40? What the hell? Whims. Wait, this bitch is Electric Dragon. God he damn it. Not. Uh-oh. I want a flying type! You don't get one! <laughs> well, guess what? He's staying on the team until I find a trap inch, and then he's getting booted. Son of a bitch, what's with all the flying types turning into not flying types? Oh, you two. This time, your winning streak is over. I plan to do with you what my school teachers did with me. Humiliate you and break your dreams. You're Damn, fucking you're depressing, fucking, dude. You're getting fucking savage, dude. Where you go? Get ready for the fight of your life. I'm not even. Ah, uh, small child. This. When I was a kid, I used to get bitten by all the bug type Pokemon. I developed a kind of pseudo tolerance to the poison. Let's see. Well, I don't see anything. Oh. Are you sure he hasn't left already? Um... This poor fucker. Oh no. Maybe he was frightened by our presence. You should go back to your co- <laughs> Ah! Help me, you two! The fuck, guys? Come, come on! Cut him some slack already. Come on. I'll let him go out. Where the fuck is he even like Mundanus? Oh, uh, you gotta go up north, mostly. No, as in I meant, like... <laughs> how was he speaking to me if he was not in the oh. area? Ah, shit, he's fucking dead. Pure air. Damn it. Nope. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Go ahead. This, this is the end of the road, you two. I want you to know that I appreciate you being my only friend who has never spat in my face. Oh god, man, dude. You are the John Arbuckle of Pokemon. <laughs> nah, he's worse than that. Yes, even Professor Ibano spat in my face once. I made a joke about his bald head. Okay, you deserve that one. You don't- you don't fuck with a man who's got bald head. You Zati, flash! He's flash! Oh. Whee! God damn it! Ah, uh, guess who's back? What are you doing? You mustn't play with the Ariados of the forest. Good thing I was around you too. Look how stupid you are, so stupid, stupid little boys. These Pokemon can stand intense light. Is this your friend? Wow, 
I see you have an interesting contact list. <laughs> Jesus. I liked his little hop. <laughs> I'm Mundanez. <laughs> I'm a gym leader. I know. I beat you. Don't you remember? Are you too brain dead to get that? <laughs> I made fun of you because you're stupid. You're so stupid. Uh, not really. When I see a pretty girl, I usually close my eyes to avoid seeing how she judges me with her. Uh, uh, every time he opens his fucking mouth, <laughs> I get sadder. <laughs> I, give, I, I take a little step closer to the edge. Just like he did that one time? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna jump next. <laughs> Jesus. Although that was the old Mundanus, the new Mundanus is adventurous, strong, and indomitable, I say wrapped up in webbing. Well, uh, something tells me that these two wouldn't get caught by these Pokemon. This was your doing, wasn't it? You must be more careful. Ouch! I've had enough misfortunes for one day without being scolded. I'd better go. Well, I've still got some dignity left. Oh, uh, bud, you're still... Oh, okay. 